Hi guys, welcome to this session on the Big Bang Theory. So this is for P8 space topic, which is for separate science, separate physics. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at what the Big Bang Theory actually is. We look at the evidence of the Big Bang Theory. We're going to explain how this evidence actually supports the Big Bang Theory. And then we're going to look at the fate of the universe. So what is the Big Bang Theory? So the Big Bang Theory is a theory. Um, we don't know how the universe began, but we think it started in this way. There is another theory called the steady state theory. You don't need to know about. It's just this one. So the Big Bang Theory is the idea that the universe started from something very, very hot, very, very small, very, very dense, if you like, a singularity. Uh, and the universe expanded from this. And as it did, it created matter, space and energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation. So that is what the Big Bang Theory is. It's a creation the universe started from a single point where it was incredibly hot and dense, creating space, energy and matter. Um, to start off with, it was just energy. And eventually, as space was created and space expanded, this did start to cool and then eventually form matter from the radiation. Um, so that is literally what the Big Bang Theory is. There's lots of tricky questions to ask about it. One of the main ones is, well, if there is a Big Bang Theory, if the universe did start from this very small point, where is it? Well, the answer is everywhere. Um, the, as far as the theory goes, if space is expanding, everywhere is expanding from everywhere. It's not like we're just expanding from one point. So if you like where the universe began from, where the start of the Big Bang actually was, is everywhere, because we are just expanding from each other. Um, so this is one of the theories of the Big Bang, that the universe is expanding. And with any theory, you need evidence to back it up. Now, there are two bits of evidence that you need to know about. So let's look at that now. So the first bit of evidence was discovered by these guys, Penzias and Wilson. So these two were working on microwave communications, and they were using this big antenna in the background to detect microwaves, and they realized that they detected it in every different direction. And it, no matter what they did, they kept detecting it. They pointed at the ground, they pointed up in space, and they couldn't understand where it came from. They even thought it was birds pooing in the actual antenna that were roosting in there. They cleaned it all out, it still existed. Now, you can actually detect this as well. If you've got an old school radio, not a digital one, an old school, and you pick up that static noise, that is what it's picking up. So where is this radiation coming from? Where is this microwave radiation coming from? Well, according to the Big Bang Theory, if you've got this beginning of the universe that created a lot of electromagnetic radiation, it probably started off in something in the form of really high energy, high frequency gamma radiation. Now, some of that would have cooled and then turned into things like mass. Some of it would have cooled and turned into other uh, waves. But because space is expanding, it's literally stretching those waves out and the frequency is increasing from gamma Sorry, the frequency is decreasing from gamma and it's turning into microwaves, nearly radio waves. So this microwave radiation we detect is leftover radiation from the Big Bang and it is everywhere. So there is no other way of explaining what the causes of this microwave radiation apart from the Big Bang theory. So that's one bit of radiation, uh, one bit of evidence. And the other bit is redshift. Now, as we stated in the previous video, Everywhere you look in the universe, if you look at each galaxy, each cluster of galaxies, they're all receding from each other. They're not just receding from the rest, they're receding from each other, they're moving away from each other. So why could they be doing that? Well, the theory is that the space existing, where all these galaxies exist, is expanding. And because space is expanding, they are moving away from each other. So because we are seeing these galaxies being red, that's because they're moving away from each other. We think that's caused by space expanding. Why space expanding? We believe that was caused by the Big Bang. So those are your two bits of evidence we've got for the Big Bang. Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMBR, and Redshift. Now the final part is looking at the fate of the universe. So the fate of the universe is quite a tricky one, um, because in order to work out the fate of the universe, we need to know how much mass is in the universe. And we're unsure at the minute. Um, we've got things like dark matter. So when we look at galaxies that are rotating, they're rotating faster than we predict. And that's because we think there may be some mass that we can't detect. The only way we can really detect mass is either by looking at it and looking at the light from it, or by viewing 
its motion due to gravity. And there is a large amount of mass that is apparently missing from the universe. So where is it? Well, this is what we call dark matter. We're not too sure what they are, uh, dark matter is, but that is currently a massive problem in physics. So we don't know exactly what the mass is, but we believe that it could be that the universe keeps expanding. And this is called the big yawn. It will just keep on expanding and expanding, expanding. And the universe will eventually cool because the energy is just being spread out into all directions or possible because if there's enough mass, what could happen is the universe could contract after a while. Um, this is called the big crunch. And there's a theory that it keeps on expanding, then it will contract and then there'll be another big bang and it expands and contracts. And this is what life is. It just expands and contracts. So those are two theories. Um, but one thing that the universe is doing, which is a strange thing is that actually its expansion is accelerating. Now they believe this by looking at supernovas and they see that the expansion is actually greater in distant supernovas, but we don't know what's causing this accelerated expansion. Again, rule of physics, if you don't know what the answer is, you put the word dark in front of it. They called it dark energy. So they believe this thing called dark energy is something that is accelerating the universe's expansion. Again, this is a massive area of physics that people are looking into, but one of the difficult things about space is that the only thing that you can really uh, study is by observing radiation, a tricky thing. So guys, that's it for P8. Hope you've enjoyed. See you next time.